a brand new video. Today I'm be telling you how to get into bronze lobbies. Why does this guy's video feel so familiar to someone I actually know? I just can't quite put my finger on it. I don't know, it's it's kind of weird. He sounds just like that one guy. It's it's so uncanny, bro. Oh, wait. He doesn't sound like anyone. He's definitely not an Ice Ops clone. Who even is Ice Ops? What? Who 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 watches that guy? By the way, Ice, that was a joke. Don't take me seriously. Today I'm telling you how to get into bronze lobbies. Unfortunately, I can't show you because none of my friends are online. None of them even really play this game anymore, but you know, I'm still going to uh, tell you how to get into the bronze lobbies. So first of all, you want to do is have a friend on your friends list that's in the bronze lobbies. Like, yeah. If you don't, they, if you don't have a friend on bronze lobbies, then this isn't going to work. You want them to invite you to their party, and they'll they'll ready up. And this is what you have to do. This is what you have to do. It's ready up and cancel. Right, so they get to the to the tick at the top. Right about 10 times and just let it load and you should be into bronze lobbies basically I, obviously i won't be in bronze lobbies right now it's because i'm in gold rank and there's no one in my party that's in bronze so yeah so if i'm not mistaken here basically what mr ice ops clone here is saying that if you're playing ranked with someone who is a lower rank than you then you will get into their rank tier lobbies. Wow, incredible. Actually, no, you won't. You'll get into lobbies of the person who is the highest rank in your team. 5,000 people just left there with so much cap. I humbly apologize to every single 5,000 of you. But anyway, yo, what is good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy Novel and welcome back to yet, as I always say, another pile of utter shit. Thank you so much for tuning in. You already know I really, really appreciate it. So of course we're back reacting, exposing, and roasting. I hereby call that R-E-R -E -R, or rare for more pizzazz hey look at me making up random shit someone give me an award bro what's good but anyways guys we have a special guest on the video today caustic gas daddy fart boy i don't know man kev that was a joke bro please don't roast me we're still friends right yeah so stay tuned if you guys want to see what kev the king had to say in this video he quite literally gassed up the video if, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, can you please laugh at my jokes now? Thank you very much. So there are other YouTubers who claim to have the free RP glitch or unlimited RP glitch down in the bag, bro. Like this guy. Apex Legends ranked glitch. How to never lose RP again. Okay, okay. I see you, bro. I see you. Yo, what's going on? So I've big news uh i found a new rp glitch for season seven split two uh split two you can see how much days are left uh and this glitch is i guess kind of similar to the old glitches but there's a little twist to it or some extra thing you got to do in the beginning so it activates uh, i'm gonna tell you how to do it solo first it, it's available solo as well me and my friend found this out literally today all right another guy who is making me lose a lot of brain cells this guy sounds so uninterested in his life bro i'm trying to pay attention to learn this glitch but i can't get over how he talks bro yo what's going on so i have big news uh i found a new rp glitch for season seven split two Okay, it sounds like he's genuinely struggling to get to the point. So basically what he's saying is, after you absolutely abuse the shit out of the ready up button in the lobby, you need to log out of Apex, test your internet connection, and then log back into Apex. Wow, incredible. But you know what's even more incredible is what this guy had to say next. Oh nah, y'all really thought y'all can dashboard though? Get your pickle chin ass looking ass out of here, bro. Y'all stupid as fuck. Y'all trying to dashboard? No, bro. You cannot dashboard this season. 
Get out of here. Get good at the game. Get what you want. If you want to get prayed, you got to get good at the game. Like you see right here, I played one match. I got minus 15. No dashboarding. Get good at the game, bro. Just get good at the game. 8,000 people just got roasted, bro. Including myself. And everyone watching this damn video, this man just roasted all of us, bro. That's not okay. We got lied to. We got bamboozled. All we want it's just to be a predator like you, bro. That's why we searched up this glitch and you just roast us for it, man. Why did you even make the video to begin with? But anyway, my dudes, you already know which part of the video it is. The time you've all been waiting for. It is time for the special guest, Gas Daddy. I mean... Kev the King. So as you all know, we are getting that juicy collection event real soon and Kev has something to say about it. So with that being said, Kev, thank you so much for being on the video, bro. It's all you. Hey everybody, it's me. And today, Nova decided to do a collab video where he wanted me to react to other videos. But I decided to explain the whole Caustic situation because I think that would be fun or so. Let's start. So I was excited because Caustic was finally getting a town takeover. And finally, he was getting the respect he deserves. Because remember guys, one of the writers named Tom said that this is going to be gas that year. Okay, keep that in mind. Three months after this statement, you want to know what happened? Well, Daniel decided, you know what? After being told by big streamers that the game sucks because Caustic's too overpowered, because they face really good Caustics in the high rank leagues. So what happened is that they decided it would be a good idea to basically destroy Caustic as a character. His ultimate now takes longer and his damage doesn't go higher as long as you're in the gas. So in a way, they pretty much made Caustic useless. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, Kevin, aren't you being a bit too harsh? Daniel's gonna know what he's doing, right? There's no way he just implemented something without testing it well that's exactly what he did because on reddit are you ready for this he admits this is daniel right here so you can tell i'm not like lying this is his um reddit account and this is him responding he admits in his own words that i'm almost certain that this is too big of a swing so this guy who's in charge of balancing the legends admits that yeah we might have gone overboard but we did this because that way we can dial him back up and see what if it was caustic or his damage power very stupid so what happened is that the whole caustic main subreddit is basically depressed and basically everybody's making memes about it because look at this <laughs> i was told you're the best but yeah so what happened is that we all found it a big of a joke because now technically a thermite does more damage than caustic's ultimate i mean come on i mean what what were they thinking really and so what happened here is that people were, were kind of showing that daniel kind of contradicted him so i mean what else do you expect that hey um how does this seem like a fair compromise right like so people were now making fun of his contradictions because of course that's what apex devs do um they contradict themselves a lot where remember um oh assume positive intent so people were saying hey if you take something out at least give something back right but in this scenario they just took everything out of caustic why so remember this is supposed to be the year of gas dad and he gets a town takeover right that's specifically for him to celebrate him and they basically just destroy his character and the devs admit that yeah and it was almost 100% a big swing. How? Really? How? How you do that? So now all the costing mains are depressed. People who are people who are costing mains are saying that they're going to boycott playing bot caustic that way the numbers go down and then what has going to happen is that they give them back a big buff but are you ready for this irony are you guys ready for this this is the irony let me put my tinfoil hat on so the guy who was responsible for all this imperial how this guy the guy who told daniel a long time ago that no don't give caustic a buff right he's now saying that he doesn't like the nerf that caustic got so the guy who was for <laughs> the caustic nerf is now saying that yeah it, it went a bit too far and everybody's saying the same thing daniel I, I dude i know you i know i just saw that you were in therapy and something right but i have, i want to be 100 percent honest to you you're a clown and yeah so there you go no <laughs> i hope you like this and don't send her hate to daniel this is just my opinion but you know i may be a bit emotional because you know caustic is my main but i don't agree with the changes they made i feel like it was too rushed i hope in season nine 
the at least give Kostic some of his power back. How, how are you going to say that? I'm almost certain this was too much of a big swing. Then why do it, right? And yeah, that's it, Nova. Hope you enjoyed this video. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that Caustic is, is about to get gassed. <laughs> Dude, can you please laugh at my jokes? It's not that difficult, okay? But my dudes, with all of that being said, it is time to unfortunately bring this video to a humble close. But before we do that, we obviously need to do what everybody loves to see, the top three comments from the previous video. Now, these comments are actually, oh man, these comments are hilarious, all right? So starting off with the third best comment from the previous video, it comes from De Prince Living My Passions. Go check out his channel, by the way. If I drink this, I'm going to turn into the Frozen Sticks stickers on his face. Oh my God, I'm the Frozen. Can it get any worse? Yeah, here's the thing. I just wanted to let you guys know, if you don't understand what these comments are about or what anybody's talking about, I highly suggest that you, uh, you know what I'm saying, go ahead and watch the previous video. Just click the card in the top right hand corner. That'll take you to the previous video. So you don't have to be a part of the lost group of sheep. You know, you, you, you can be with the lions who know what's going on. The comment coming in second place comes from Soldier Gamer and he says, Wow, I didn't know that Frozen's voice actually sounds like Revenant. Damn. Yes, apparently NNA Productions thinks that Frozen, Elsa should I say, sounds just like Revenant. So that was really nice to hear. Thank you for that. The comment coming in first place place uh, i'm just gonna give a warning this is dark humor okay the comment coming in first place comes from glitchy koala and he says i saw the number one comment so dad joke of the day this graveyard looks so overcrowded people must be dying to get in what did he say <laughs> yeah okay uh, can we just take some time to appreciate the humor in this comment this is actually funny <laughs> Oh my goodness, at first I had to process it, but it's whatever. Yeah, guys, if you want to see your comment in the top three comments in the next video, all you have to do is give a really funny comment, something that is wholesome, something that people like, or if your comment just has a lot of likes in general, you will 100% find your comment in the top three in the next video. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching if you're still listening to my really weird voice i appreciate you don't forget to absolutely smash the like button subscribe if you are new with your notifications turned on so you'll never miss when novel uploads another pile of trash thank you guys so much for watching and as always i will see all of you amazing people in the next video much love everybody and keep it 100 you freaking nerds Thank you.